Friday the 8th of March and I'm absolutely buzzing. Spring is almost here. I think it's officially always after my dad's birthday on the 21st of March or so he says. And I'm off for a double header this week to Sutton Coalfield and Hull. We're going up north. We're going up north again. So if you're a new viewer, welcome to the channel. If you're an old time viewer, welcome back. So join me on the journey and uh, well, let's crack on. landed in Sutton Coalfield. Really like this place. It's very leafy. It's big houses. It seems very affluent. So just heading back to the venue now to, uh, to do sound training. A bit late. Sorry guys. Hey. There we go. Cheers. <laughs> Hello Mini. Sutton Coalfield, what a crowd. It is so good tonight, so, so good. The drums, the um, the acoustics of the room just make the drums sound big. Stadium rock, baby. Second half, let's go.
so Saturday morning and it's time to get to Hull so let's do this Being a town hall, this place is huge, there's so many rooms. Hi guys, so, um, so I've just, just turned the kettle on and it's completely inappropriate now because you're going to get background noise. It's about half past six, we've got an hour till showtime in Hull, and uh, I just thought I'd record this quick clip just to talk about a few things that I've learned being a touring musician. It might come across a little bit moany, um, but the first thing is travel. Um, is, you know, spending a lot of time in the car. Uh, late nights, um, which then kind of involves like your diet and your sleep that can get affected. Um, so the first month of me sort of joining the band back in January, I think I put on about a stone. I've kind of trimmed down a little bit now, um, but just I'm sort of ravenous after the gigs. Um, other things I've learned uh, is it's a team effort. Being in a band is a team effort. So um, communication, uh, the other things I've learned is like, it takes time for people to kind of get to know you and you to, to get to know them um, and each other's kind of quirks. Uh, it also takes a little bit of time to like really bed in with the set and what you're playing um, and the physicality of it as well. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it for now. Um, anyway, really looking forward to the gig. It is a big, big venue uh, tonight, Hull City Hall. The guys gigged here last year. They said it was amazing, really good gig. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed and thumbs up. There we go. And uh, I'll speak to you soon. It's time to rock or pop. <laughs>
All right, so it's Monday, Monday lunchtime. I'm here in High Clear. I'm at Thorngrove School teaching, uh, teaching the drums. I've just had a delightful lunch. So apologies in advance if I'm kind of like dipping on the the energy levels. I think the uh, the Spanish and the Italians have got it right with a, a nice afternoon siesta. I don't know about you, but I'm always like comatized after uh, a bit of food, especially at lunch. Anyway, thought I'd do a bit of post gig reaction. Um, Friday's gig at Sutton Coalfield was awesome. Uh, the audience were like up and dancing from almost like the first song and it just made for a great atmosphere. There was a, a chap in the audience that was wearing sort of like new romantic style uh, clothing and there was another guy giving it proper like 80s dancing and uh, they were like within my viewpoint. Um, so I just was, I was kind of almost like playing, playing to them. It was really, really good fun. And uh, it was a great sounding room. The drums sounded huge. They were loud, but it just, it sounded like, they sounded massive, uh, especially with like the, the low tune snare drum. Um, I'm really, really happy with, with that. Uh, and then Saturday was at Hull, huge venue, really liked Hull. Uh, I went to an awesome um, sort of coffee record shop. I bought myself a t-shirt, uh, The Who. Um, I think it's a bit too big. I need to try it on actually, but I really like the colours and uh, really like Hull as a city. Um, in the afternoon, I went to Beverly Road Baths to uh, to go for a steam room sauna session. So it's nice to kind of uh, talk to talk to some locals. And uh, the gig was good. Um, we didn't have any kind of like lighting or sorry, like uh, uh, video screens behind us, which I think does encourage. Uh, I think it does encourage like dancing and stuff from the audience so the first couple of numbers compared to Sutton Coalfield like the audience were understandably they sat down in their chairs just kind of enjoying it and you just sort of you're just watching for the domino effect of like as soon as one person gets up and starts dancing a few more start joining in and then it kind of made for a great atmosphere so it was a bit of a slow burner at the start um, but it it became this great gig uh, and it was just sort of looking up into the into the gods almost uh you know just thinking this is awesome playing this massive uh, this massive venue um and the drums sounded huge there was a massive echo on them as well uh but if, if we i don't know it just really felt like we, it it feels like we've kind of come together uh and we were like we're performing and we feel like a, a real tight unit synergy between us um, and you know, I'm starting to ab um, I'm, I'm able to sort of start really to en really enjoy like the gigs because I'm not really relying on my iPad so much. I'm just kind of playing from um, from memory, as it were. So next up is Yeovil on Saturday, and then on Sunday I'm going over to help the Rolling Clones. They're doing bass auditions for a new bass player. I think they're looking for a new drummer as well. Um, it's really unfortunate. They asked me to do their drumming. Well, they offered me the drumming role, but obviously I'm doing the Calling Planet Earth uh, gig. So what's that phrase? You wait for one bus and two come along at once. Um, it's re really, really unfortunate timing, but it is what it is. It's nice to be involved with the boys and uh, it's nice to be asked to help them out. So looking forward to that. If you've enjoyed this video, if you could give us a thumbs up, that would be awesome. Thank you very much. If you've not already sub subscribed, there we go. Um, it would be awesome if you could subscribe and you can hit the notifications bell uh, which kind of alerts you uh, when a new video is uploaded I try and make them around midday on a Friday um, I'm not gonna like hold myself to that but that's kind of what I'm trying to do uh, of course you know it's up to you when you want to watch them right but uh, if you want to kind of get in there first 12 o'clock on a Friday is, is is you know round about the time that I'll do it have a good week and I will speak to you in the next video all right cheers guys Bye.